Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. This is the other half of the product unboxing that I had during my gameplay of Mr. President yesterday. We unboxed Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea earlier this morning, so now we're going to do the other half of the Ancient Civilizations games from GMT, Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East. Looks like the same design and development staff on here. We'll go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East is an exciting, easy to learn, easy to play game in which players guide their civilizations through the biblical era. Each civilization will fight to become the dominant power of its age through conquest. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Through conquest and the building of cities, along with establishing the supremacy of its powerful deity. The game includes 17 different civilizations, each with its own unique characteristics. From taking captives instead of looting, to supremacy in siege warfare, and much more. Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East is not a sequel, nor an expansion to Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea, but a standalone game using the same multiplayer and solitaire systems as its predecessor, with many new and exciting features such as deities, cultural development, and religion. A game for one to six players. Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East is not just one game, but many games. Besides the basic game, which can be played by up to six players, there are also 12 historical-based scenarios included. Solitaire rules allow any scenario, including the basic game, to be played by a single player against one or more non-player civilizations or NPCs. The NPC may be peaceful or hostile and may change its attitude depending on the actions of the player. If you want a war game, you got it. If you want a friendly game, this is it too. It can be a friendly game of exploration, city building, trade, and faith. Players can make ancient civilizations of the Middle East what they wish or imagine. How the game unfolds depends entirely on how the players want it to play. The duration of the game is also up to the players. From a multi-hour odyssey of all four epochs, to a prearranged shorter contest of an hour or two, or to an agreed sudden death victory point threshold. We see 1 to 6 players, age 14 plus, 2 to 7 hours in length, complexity nice and low at 3, solitaire suitability nice and high at 9. So now I can put that down and give my hand a break, but we can get this cracked open. Does not want to focus today. And we'll see what's all in the box. Okay, we'll have to tear that shrink wrap off. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of the knife, but decided it didn't want to puncture the side there. All right, there's the shrink wrap off. Another glossy box as usual. We'll pull this open and see what we've got in here. Come on. This actually completes my order from the P500 sale from GMT. These were the two games that I picked up. And once again, I'm very glad that Mr. President was the first ever game I P500'd from GMT. There's the rule book. We'll give that our cursory thumb through. Playbook with all of our scenarios in here. Solitaire rules are going to be in the... Probably going to be in... Oh, solitaire rules. No wonder I can't find it. Ha ha. And then go back in here for the time being. We've got our stickers. And then our different civilizations. We've got Egypt. Babylon. Assyria. Akkad. Sumer. Elam. Chaldea, the Hittites, the Scythians, the Medes and the Persians, the Sumerians, Indu Valley, the Dravidians, Harappans, and Mauryans, Sea Peoples, the Greeks, I'll zoom that out a bit. The Israelites, the Israeli, yeah, the Israelites, probably. Israelites. The Mitanni. And the Urartu. 
and get those out of the way. And we got, we're starting to get into our player aids from the looks of it. Cultural development tracks, looks like for both, which is not double sided. Civilization abilities, just a summary of them all in one place. Double sided along with deity abilities. Then our, our solitaire player aid. And then NPC disc placement priorities. And we have six player aids. In the box, we'll just take a look at one. Okay. No need to look at all six of them. All six of those, they'll be exactly the same. And we've got our, this is our one board. So we'll pull the rest of that out of the way for the time being. And open this out. Another pretty sizable board, but not nearly, not nearly as bad as the board for Mr. President. I think that may well be the biggest board I've ever seen. Probably even bigger than Twilight Imperium. Um, that's not wanting to lay flat. But we've got our space for our civilizations. Looks like with icons of where they start, so that's actually very convenient. Turn order down here, the epoch we're in, the turn of the epoch, and the victory point track. Board is not double sided. So we'll give that, we'll get that folded up and bring the box back in shot. Where we see we've got our cards, we've got fate cards. And our deity, which also has more fate cards tacked onto it. Those will, of course, need to get sleeved. This will need to get organized. And this insert is probably going to get bent once I get everything sleeved and sorted. But for the time being, we can bring the rule book in and give that our cursory thumb through. We'll zoom that in just a touch. Okay, perfect. Okay. This looks really cool. We got our important game terms. So I'll probably want to learn Ancient Civilizations of the Inner Sea first before I jump into this one, since it's referencing a lot of rules from Inner Sea. Okay. Explaining where all the components are. Okay, we only need to apply stickers to the deity blocks, but after that gets sorted out. Three and four player setups, along with five actually. And six player setup. How stacking works. Growth phase. Card phase. A lot during the card phase. Establishing a deity. What to do when you pass. Competition phase. Reckoning phase. More of the steps during the turn. End of epoch phase and other options along with a final epoch event. Barbarian hordes, special rules basically. Notes on specific fate cards. 
And the credits. So that's our rule book thumb through. We'll get everything back in the box. I don't think it doesn't matter how the board goes. Okay. I'm just putting everything back in the box off camera. Okay. And that's everything in the box for Ancient Civilizations of the Middle East. That gives me both of the Ancient Civilizations games in the collection now. I finally decided what I'm going to be playing later today. So I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably not going to start this for a little bit yet, but I will be playing my second session of my new story of Mag 23 Guadalcanal from Historic Wings. And then later today, hopefully, I should get to Call to Adventure Epic Origins as well. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.